In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hit better in MLB The Show 20. Let's get into it. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Tay here and I'm back with another video. This is one of my most requested videos and I'm finally here to drop it for you guys. I wanted to play a couple seasons, see what I can do, and I'm going to show you guys how to hit better in MLB The Show 20. I also real quick just wanted to show you, I haven't started season 3 yet, I'm going to be starting that very soon, but as you can see my record is 40 and 18, 305 bad average, so I see I'm, I'm pretty good at hitting the ball, World Series player, but I'm going to show you these tips right now. So the first thing I want to show you guys is obviously my settings. For my hitting all this is personal preference the only thing you want to make sure you have is zone hitting zone hitting is it eliminates mostly all the rng obviously you're going to get some good no okay's and all that but this is the best hitting interface you will have it's better than directional pure analog so you want to be using zone hitting my other things are just personal preference i use circle and wedge um, sometimes i take the circle off because i don't really like the dots in the middle so sometimes I go uh, none. I like using circle right now and I love wedge. I have my PCI color on yellow and my PCI transparency on 100. That's just personal preference. Whatever fits well for you, rock with it. But the main, the main thing you wanna make sure you have is zone hitting. So we all have trouble hitting Corey Kluber. I know this is a top three pitcher and it will be the show. The best way you want to get better by hitting is going against the best pitcher. So one of my tips for is to is make this Corey Kluber exactly how he is in Diamond Dynasty. Obviously his stats are not going to look exactly the same as Kluber, but give him the sinker, the slurve, the cutter, give him all his pitches. And just make sure his break and his hits per nines and K per nines is up there with it. I did like probably like minus twos for some of them. And this is one of the pitchers I like to go against. I have a hard time hitting Kluber. So when I go into practice mode to practice before hopping in games, I make sure I go against this Kluber. And it helps me when I have to play Kluber, I'm used to his release. So I get to be able to hit the ball typically faster than other people do if they just hop right into games. Another tip to make you guys better at hitting, when you go into practice mode, make sure you adjust your sliders so what i like to do is i like to put my fastball pitch speed all the way up because i'm going to show you when i go into practice mode how how much it helps you so put your fastball pitch speed up all the way to the top the reason is for that if you can hit these pitches with the fastball pitch speed all the way up on the hardest difficulty when you hop in your wild card or wherever you're in even in hall of fame it's gonna feel like nothing. It's gonna feel super easy to catch up to the fastballs, and you're gonna be a better hitter for that. So one of my tips for you guys is to go to your sliders, put your fastball pitch speed up, and load it in before you hop in practice mode. A quick tip too, you wanna make sure you're the home team when you practice these. So you always wanna set the away team. So if you're practicing against Kluber, make them away team. It doesn't matter what team you pick. I like to just pick the, uh, I like to pick the AL All-Stars because I just like using Trout. And it doesn't matter what stadium you play in, but I just like to put on Ship It because it's just easier to see. Mostly everybody uses Ship It, so I just use Ship It to practice. Again, a another tip, you might see a lot of people, they don't have their difficulty to the highest. They might be playing on All-Star. That's really not going to help you get better. The way you get better is you play on the hardest difficulty. If you can catch up with the fastball sliders all the way up and plus his own legend, you should be able to hit on all-star easily. I'm gonna let you guys know now. I'm not gonna try to show you like home runs and crazy stuff on this legend. This is gonna be extremely difficult to hit. You just wanna be able to take good pitches and try to square them up as best as you possibly can. It is extremely hard to hit on this. This is the whole point. It's, you're not gonna be hitting crazy on this practice mode. But if you can square up a couple pitches, you're gonna be extremely ready to hit anything else. Cause all you gotta do is square up a couple pitches on here. You should have the confidence and be able to square up pitches on all-star and hall of fame because they're going to be extremely slow when you after you hop in this so what i like to do here i always take the first pitch especially when i'm going to get kluber if you could take the first pitch you just do it i'm going to take repeat play off to show you a full at bat what i like to do so again we take the first pitch regardless you want to get this pitch count up as fast as possible you don't want to swing at the bad pitches that's not a terrible pitch but i'm not swinging at that at the first pitch and this is the pitch speeds are fully up to and it's just on legend again you want to take pitches you do not want that 
You just want to work the count, have good at bats, swing at good pitches. You want to swing at pitches down middle. Like right there, that's a great pitch to hit. Kluber is amazing. It's going to be hard to hit on Legend, but you got to be prepared. One, two. He got me. It's fine though. It's his own legend. It's gonna be hard to hit. Another another tip is when you're going righty against righty. I like to start my PCI like all the way in, all the way up. Again, you want to take the first pitch at every at bat. But I like to start up and in. I don't like starting down because it's hard to catch up to the inside still, especially on higher difficulties. I like to start up and in. That's a bad hit. We're gonna get a base hit off that, but that's a bad hit. But we'll take that right now. This is only practice. Also, if you're struggling against a pitcher, you don't want to. If you're struggling against a pitcher, you don't want to just hit. Just keep on trying to hit the ball. You want to try to wait. If you have to take two strikes and then start hitting just to get this guy pitch uh, pitch count up, you want to do that. It's going to be tough. You're not going to get a lot of pitches. But this is helping your plate discipline as well. This is why I like doing this. It's helped my plate discipline a lot. That's that's basically like 2-0 right there. You don't want to swing at bad pitches. You want to swing at pitches down the middle. Boom. A little early on that, but we're able to square. We're able to square pitches up. That's if you can square pitches up on this guy, I'm telling you, you're gonna be extremely. Some other tips that's not that's not heading related. That's gonna help you get better too. You want to have control freaks. I'm gonna put down a link in the description with control freaks I use. They do a bit. They help a lot when it comes to hitting. I'm gonna make sure Kluber has to pitch to me here. Is this good? This is a good way to test your plate discipline. That's a great pitch. On Legend, they throw extreme dot. Just like that, boom. On legend difficulty, we're able to square up a pitch for a home run. Some two things you want to do to get better that's not hitting related. You want to get control freaks. I'm going to show you these guys right here. This is the control freaks I use. These are green QPCs. I'm going to put a link down in the description. So you can see this. If you want to get them, you can cop them. Also, uh, another huge thing, the biggest thing you want to do if you want to get better at hitting is getting a gaming monitor. A gaming monitor helps your gameplay significantly. That's the biggest thing to do to help you get better at hitting. If you're playing on a TV, especially a big TV, your input delay is gonna be extremely high. With a gaming monitor, I have a BenQ, one millisecond response time, and it helps me score up inside pitches or just like pitches inside extremely faster, and it helps you be able to hit pitches. So when you actually hit the X button or whatever button you use to hit, it registers faster on a gaming monitor than would within a TV. So a big thing you want to do is get a monitor. And if you don't want to play on let if you don't want to go and get the computer, another way that's going to be better, it will be to play your friends. Go play your friends and go play your friends in, in a friendly and put it on legend difficulty. That's going to be even better because you're getting the same type of the game that how it will be online instead of this, this would be like, I think offline is a lot, it's less delay and stuff, but online is way, it will be way better to see how the game will actually play. Look at that. Like we're able to square pitches up on, on legend now. It's a couple, this, that's all you want to do. You want to be practicing. Once you're able to hit perfect perfects in this, you're going to be fine. But I will play friendlies on legend if you have a choice too. That's another great option. And yeah, man, I hope this video helped you guys of being better on heading. I didn't want to show you video of me being in practice mode and like all-star veteran just cracking balls. I want to show you guys how I play practice mode. And I know I struggle in practice mode, but I do the struggle in practice mode. So when I hop in games, I have no trouble. Look at that. Look at that. Now, now we're warmed up. Now we're warmed up. But I'm going to end it here, man. I hope this video helped you. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get, let's get 20 likes on this video, man. If you want to see another video, let me know down in the comments what you want to see. And I'll get it to you guys. And I'm out.